This segment of the Steve Zabin Show brought to you by Coto versus Canelo. Don't miss Coto versus Canelo live on pay per view this Saturday, November 21st, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Our own Tim Murray is dispatching to Vegas. Tim Canelo Murray to be part of that fight right there. So I think this story has 90% sweet, 10% bitter, but your mixture may vary. You've probably heard by now, as connected sports fans, that Doug Flutie lost his mom and his dad yesterday, within an hour of each other. And it was not because, you know, some giant Christmas display tragically fell over and crushed them both to death. Right, not a car uh, accident. Right. A, Flutie's, right. Flutie's mom, the Flutie's dad was in the hospital uh, with heart trouble and died of a heart attack in the hospital. One hour later, within one hour, his mother, who had been married to Flutie's father, mom and dad, for 53 years. 56. 56 years. Yes. One hour later, uh, his mom passed away of a heart attack herself. Wrote Flutie in a very moving post on Facebook, they say you can die of a broken heart, and I believe it. And these stories happen periodically. And usually to less famous people than almost always to less Heisman famous. Trophy winner. Yeah, almost always. But yeah. But when you think about it, the odds don't seem that bad, do they? What odds? Of of two elderly people dying on dying the same within day. an hour. Dying on the same day. You know. I'm not an actuary, Solly. I don't know the odds of married couples dying an hour apart due to natural causes. I'm sure. I'm sure if there's a couple in their 80s and one of them dies. Chances are the other, every two or 3,000 of those couples will probably die the same day. I'm just pointing and out it's so not as what? rare as, it's not the most rare thing you've ever seen. Well, how rare is it? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying that since they're both over 80, the, the fact that both of them die on the same day is not one in a million. It's probably one in a couple of thousand. Okay, I, I I don't have access to the actuarial tables that you do, so I can't argue with you in this. I will, okay. Fine. However, however rare you think it is, I'll let you think however rare it is. It's pretty remarkable, though, within an hour, to have one spouse die of natural causes after being married to that same spouse for 56 years. What percentage are rare? I don't know. It's remarkable, though. You know, Flutie has parents. I'm blessed, Scott, in that I have two sets of parents, both still alive, who are a lot like Doug Flutie's parents, married forever. You know, married once each and married together all these years and still together. Mm -hmm. Very blessed to have that. And uh, both, uh, both sets of parents are in good health. Thank God for that again. Um but they are, and certainly I don't want to jinx this by saying, boy, you know, this could happen to one of my two sets of parents because they're nutty old lovebirds just like the Fluties were. But I, I wouldn't, be, uh, wouldn't be totally stunned. My mom and dad, my mom just went up to Atlantic City with my dad for about three days, midweek. Why? Because your dad found a you, deal on a hotel. Right, and he wanted to play some blackjack. Had to get some blackjack That's on. That's right. And my mom who has no great affinity for Atlantic City because it's not exactly... Because it's Atlantic City. <laughs> it's, it's right. It's You know, I've never been to Atlantic City. I will gladly not take you. Okay. Should I take it off my bucket list? Should hey, I, I feel like I need to check that if box. If you want to go, we'll go. You, Half the honestly, hotels have closed in the last five there, years. There's, so. there's that cheap. small item. But next time you're hanging with uh, Todd and it's just enough to be dangerous, say, go dude, out there. let's take the 80-minute jaunt and okay. play a little bit and come home. That okay. way you can check it off your bucket list. You can go to yeah, say like I've been Castle there. or Sacco's, yeah. get yourself a cheesesteak, go to Castle's Market, get some takeout, and you know, you'll be done. Yeah, so my parents went there and... Uh, just midweek, I think my mom just probably, you know, sat in the cafe with her iPad and, uh, you know, texted and emailed uh, family at pictures members. Of grandchildren. And took pictures of grandkids and just hung out, you know. My parents drive across the country to but Arizona they, they in the winter. They travel together. They, yeah, they drive across the country. To, yeah, exactly. Right. And uh, my, my, my in-laws uh, are similar in that regard. 
Uh, they take, you know, my, my in-laws took a trip together to Germany to see um, Ooh, s- Rammstein. Yeah, Rammstein. No. No, and uh, I don't know if it was Rammstein. They, they, the bass uh, of the music group. Right. No, they went to see a performance of The Passion of the Christ that occurs like once every 17 years or something crazy like that. Is it, is it done by cicadas? I don't know. But rest in peace, Fluties, and, you know, got to help you there, Doug, getting through this obviously tough time, but what a remarkable story. Said they were incredible to him growing up as an athlete. Of course, kids as well, brothers, and whatever. So... A sweet story that I think is 90% sweet, 10% bitter. It's just life. Steve Zabin. The Zabe. Oh, oh, it's a shatter boy. I know what it is. Zabe and his boys waking, waking up, up America, America like no one else. Here he, Here is. he is. You know what it is. What's that? This was. It's not cool. The Zabe. This hour being brought to you by Angry Orchard Hard Cider. Crisp, refreshing, and not too sweet. Angry Orchard Hard Cider. Explore the orchard. Hey, if you're listening on satellite radio right now, XM 93 and XM Sirius 93, either one, Channel 93, uh, now will be a good time to call for this might be a dumb question. Because on satellite right now is an hour later. And so that'd be a good time. Slightly space time Think continuum. Right. This is interesting. Yeah, I don't know how to do this exactly, but Scott said, why don't you just try plugging the call segment just for a quick shot here yeah, why not? that'll appear an hour later in real time, but it'll be synced up with the hour time shift on satellite. So, sure. There's your reminder right there. If you're listening on satellite right now, we have operators standing by for this might be a dumb question. So there you go. Did I mention Angry Orchard Hard Cider? Yeah. You did. I did. All right, very good. You did a couple texts from the 407 in Orlando, Florida. Zave Atlantic City is not horrible. I frequent the Borgata and Casino, Borgata Hotel and Casino. Nice place. All that's missing, of course, is sports wagering. Bleep you, Roger Goodell. Yeah, he's going to make sure that never happens there. 484, Buddy Ed, just outside of Philly. Atlantic City, come for the blackjack. Stay for the rampant <laughs> blight. <laughs> what? From the 210. Not trying to be insensitive about the Fluties, but like they said in Seinfeld, they're old. That's what old people do. They die. Yeah, that's insensitive right there. Not trying to be yes, insensitive. With all due respect. They're the old. They late. die. Some people are old, and they keep living vibrantly. Right. Deep into their 80s yeah, maybe, and their 90s maybe even. Mrs. Flutie had a broken heart. Exactly. And I mean that obviously in the other sense. Yeah, 317 says simply, well, Solly's pessimism knows no bounds. You are an odd bird, man. I, don't I was it. just trying to point out the fact that it's not as rare. and You don't know that. What you do throw you that I out of your that. ass. You have no table saying 6.4% of 70-plus-year-old people who die of a heart attack have their spouse die within X hours. That's not what I said. I'm saying if you're over 80, chances are you're going to die at some point in the next, let's say, 10 years, some outrageous far distant your life expectancy. Why are you so angry after. about this? Because you're so dismissive of my comments. Like I'm dismissive of dumb. I'm not I'm trying to point out a simple fact that it's not a one in a million chance. What is it a one in what chance? I'm just saying Well what's the what's the number? I'm giving you, you a, life expectancy a, 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 chart. Give me the number since you think you know the number. How about one in thirty six fifty? One in ten years that you'll die from that point on, it might have and, and happening that day if you're over eighty Seems not that unlikely. Seems not that unlikely. What does that exact, mean? I'm trying to explain it in general terms, and you're looking for some exact number. Am I, am I not being clear about... Why are you so angry about stuff? You're being so dismissive. Oh, give me a number. You, you're not an actuary. Give me a number. It's, well, it's really again, annoying. I Okay. Well, I think it's rare for that to happen. You don't. I'm not saying it's not rare. I'm saying what are you saying? I'm saying it's not one in a million. It's one in. Did a I few throw that thousand. number out? No. So you you think it's what? One in a few thousand. Well, I doubt that. I doubt I, I doubt that every four thousand people who die have their spouse die within an hour. If they're both over eighty. On the yeah. same day. Yeah, I'd say it's it's still less than one in four thousand. I think it's a rare occurrence. Now, I don't have the numbers, but 
It's a rare thing that happened. You don't think it's that rare. I don't know why you don't think it's that rare. How are your parents? Are they still alive? No, they're not, but thank you. When did they die? None of your business. You just saying that? or I'm just saying it's none of your business about anything about my, my family. You don't want to share? No. No. Why not? Because you don't listen to me. That's really annoying. That no matter what I say, you're either dismissive or don't even listen half the time. And and dismiss it as some stupid comment. It's very annoying. Never? I never listen Rarely. To you. How about rarely? Mr. Rarely. So I don't take your ideas seriously? Usually, yeah. Hmm. It's as if it's if Scott says something, you listen. If I say something, I'm the, I'm the Halo usually child. it breezes by you and you don't even listen. Sally's hmm. very, very intelligent. We know that. I thought there was plenty of times. I know that. We, we do know that. There was plenty of times where I gave you credit for things. Laughed at your funny stuff. Thank you. It's very funny, very witty, very, very smart. Hmm. Can you feel <laughs> Okay. Baseball score here would be good. Oh, baseball's over. Basketball score would be good.